A small percentage, however, are suffering from more severe conditions. A group with more serious pathology are children who are mentally defective, those with organic deficits, the severe character disorders of the psychiatry, and full-blown neuroses. Some, a very few, are psychotic. What characterizes these children? How do they psychotic? What are they used to establish the diagnosis of childhood schizophrenia? The diagnosis must penetrate the symptom facade. The diagnosis must not only sharply define a disease entity, but also differentiate it from conditions which resemble it and with which it might be confused. External manifestations may be the same, and yet the underlying disease may be different. On the other hand, outward appearances may differ, and yet the disease process may be the same. In schizophrenia, the disability, the core of the problem, in young as well as in old, is an ego disability, an ego fragmentation, of which there may be evidences very early in life. How is it uncovered? The clinical team discusses each case with respect to its history, including the presenting symptoms, the past history and developmental data, and the family history, the physical, neurological, and other medical laboratory data, the psychological test findings, and finally, the clinical observations. This diagnostic process may be likened to the passage of clinical data through a series of sieves which screen out the diseases other than childhood schizophrenia. The sieves are the history, the medical, neurological, and other medical laboratory data, the psychological findings, and the clinical observations. Following this incident, when the child was 18 months old, her speech, which had developed normally up to this point, regressed, and she became autistic, mute. Although the incident and the regression are related, we cannot conclude that this is a causal relationship. Without going into the question of etiology, mention should be made of hereditary and constitutional considerations as well as traumatic life experiences. But to return to the question of getting historical data, the adult form of schizophrenia, the medical, neurological, and laboratory data, such as the air encephalogram, electroencephalogram, serology, blood chemistry, and so forth, do not provide positive diagnostic aid in childhood schizophrenia. The psychological data, in contrast, are quite significant and often pathognomonic. The Rorschach protocol includes bizarre content, autistic and deviant productions, poor contact with perceptual reality, a low F plus percent, massing of pure color responses. Now you take this in your own hands, okay, and now tell me what does this look like? What is it? Well, I'm, I'm writing down what you, what you say. Now you tell me, what does this look like? You take it in your own hand. You take it. That's a good boy. Take it in your own hand, see? Now tell me, what does it look like? A fire. A fire. And, and tell me, where's the fire? Show me where the fire Over is. Here. Where? Where is it? Over here. See? Oh, I see. I see. And what else does it look like? What else do you see there? What else do you see on this picture? Joe, what else do you see on this one? Joel, what else do you see on this one? What else do you see? What else is it? Leaves. Leaves. And where are the leaves? Show me the leaves now. Here. Oh, yes. Where? I don't quite get it. Oh, look, look. You know, you know, you got to look and show me. The drawings of the schizophrenic child are grotesque productions in which there are distortions, fragmentation, movement, 
loss of bodily boundaries, sexual preoccupation, violent aggression, concretization, and perseveration. Clinically, we are impressed by speech disturbances. In autistic children, there may be speechlessness. That's, that's good. That's good. Now she's doing it. That's fine. Are you singing? Do you remember that song? Good morning to you. Do you remember that song? Good morning to you. Do you remember that? We're all in our places. Remember that, Sharon? With the sun shining faces. Remember that? Hmm? Sharon? And this is the way to start a new day. Do you remember that? Hmm? That's a sweet girl. She's a sweet girl. She can say things. How are you, Sharon? When the child does speak, I think, too, that uh, very often one will notice uh, an eerie quality about the speech, uh, a high-pitched mm -hmm. kind of sound. No, I'm doing things. These? Would you like to play with these? No, we have a in addition, parents may complain that their children parrot speech, echolalia, and that they condense or invent words. I do like you. Mm -hmm. What's the oh, I like you. Still mean? I like you too. Buys two puppies too. Right. Well, they spell buys two puppies to spell it. Spell buys two puppies too. Spell it. It's pretty hard. I don't know. What does it mean? Well, I'll cut it out. You cut out those rabbits. Will you cut it out? Will you make some here, and then I can cut them out? No, you cut it out. There's no. There was room. Yes, yes. Where'd you get that vice to puppy stew? I don't know where I got it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yes, I will. Cut these good ones out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say vice to puppy stew. Vice to puppy stew. Vice to puppy stew. Now, what does that mean? You know that means. Uh, I don't know. Where did you pick it up? Vice to puppy stew. Where did you pick it up? Vice to puppy stew. The neologism, bystu, puppystu, we learned later, was a condensation of words referring to biting and stool, or feces. This brings us really to the question of the use of language, not for the purpose of communication, but to play with, and as part of the withdrawal of these children. That's another one! What is that? Another one! Another one? Cat! That's another cat, right? <laughs> yes, that's another cat. <laughs> well, that's pretty. Uh, how many cats do we have there now? Three! Three cats, show me. Here they are! Here's one, here's one, here's one. Good, good. This is a cat. What, what did you say that one was? A paintbrush. That's a paintbrush. Three yeah. One, two, three. three cats and one paintbrush. <laughs> Would you like to draw another cat? Yes. Would you like to draw another cat? Another cat! Another cat. That's a fourth cat. How many four cats? That's four cats. Now I've Let's see if we can get Joel here. Let's see, right here on this side. Let's see. <laughs> now let's get Joel here. Here's Joel. Joel, go ahead. Good. Here's Good. Two legs. Good. Two, two eyes. Two legs, two eyes. Go ahead. A mouth. That's the mouth. <laughs> and what's that? That's a finger. There's a, a body. And there's a body. That's very good. That's actually, that's Joel. 
And now, let's see if we can get Joe's mother right here. Hmm? Let's see. We'll leave this one over here. And let's see if we can get Joe's mother. Hmm? This was Joe over here. Here we have Joe. And now we're going to get Joe's mother right here. Hmm? You want to draw that on that one? There's a empty page there. Let's see if we can use this one. Hmm? Fine, now let's get the mother. Here's a... A color, is that this? Purple, yes. And what is that that you're making now? Face. That's the face, yeah. And then? Here's the eyes. That's the eyes. Here's the nose, and here's the face. And here's the body, and here are the shoes. And, and here's the shoe. Yes. And that's yes. the face. Now show me the face again, Joe. Joe, show me the face. Here it is. Is that the face? Yes. Now where's the body? Right there, and here are the two eggs. And those are the two what? Eggs. I see. All oh, right, fine. That's very good, Joe. That's very good. But the clinical assessment is not complete unless the differential diagnosis is made as well. Psychoneurosis and psychopathy must be ruled out. Also, not infrequently, Childhood schizophrenia is confused with organic reactions or with mental deficiency. And in the past, many schizophrenic children were mistakenly diagnosed and included in these last two clinical categories. Actually, making the differential is not a separate step in the diagnostic process. Diagnosis and differential diagnosis evolve simultaneously while passing the clinical data through the diagnostic sieves. In the case of organic reactions, diagnostic clues that bear the stamp of organicity include the following. There may be a history of German measles in the mother in the first trimester of the pregnancy. In the child, a history of birth trauma, meningitis, or encephalitis at an early age, or of epileptic seizures. Neurological signs may be observed. Or the serology may tell the story. There may be positive findings in the electroencephalogram. Compare a normal with an epileptic record. Or the air encephalogram may be positive. The psychologist reports poor visual motor performance, as for example in the drawing of a diamond in a child over the age of seven, or in the Gestalt tests. And the following typical Rorschach findings, perplexity in handling the cards, paucity of responses, W minus or poor whole responses, shading responses, and perseveration. Impulsivity and hyperactivity are characteristic clinical findings. The differentiating diagnostic aids in mental deficiency include a history of retarded development in all areas, for example, in speech, walking, toilet training, and so forth. All these may be obtained. There may be a history of retardation in other family members. In the physical examinations, microcephaly, hydrocephaly, and mongolism are easily recognized. In mental deficiency, the drawings are primitive. For example, a Kupfmensch. Compare this drawing of a 10-year-old defective child with one made by a child of average intelligence of the same age. Clinically, the fatuousness and emptiness of the child are striking. 
that mean shut up? Shut up, it means. What? Who says shut up? <laughs> My father. He says shut up. And why does he say shut up? If I wake him up at night, he says shut ah, up. Good night, uh, Daddy. And I say shut up. And sometimes he says good night. And he tells uh -huh. me. Sometimes he says good night. And sometimes he says shut up. Well, how many times do you say good night to him, Freddie? How many times do you say? I don't know. Huh? Shut up, I said, shut up, I said.